Hello Space Engineers, welcome back to Aries Colony on this lovely Mars morning. How is everybody today? I hope uh, everybody's all fitting well out there. Uh, yeah, so let's let's get into things because I think there's a lot to do. And uh, yeah, you find me you find me very much where you left me last time. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty much uh, continuing straight on. So this is kind of like I guess part two. I was actually hoping to build this in one episode, but ooh, I was way off with that. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll give it a nudge today to get this all done and dusted. As I was sort of saying last episode, I need to I need to up my production, I think. Uh, just purely on the scale of this. So, let's, let's get into it. Now, uh, I need to do a little bit of working out. Um, really, uh, if, if, if I'm going for... And this is going to be big. So if I went for two of those, they're, they're too high. So that's that's sort of four, uh, four blocks. So we'll say not that one, but we'll say that one, that one, that one, and that one. So when this retracts, there's probably going to be a couple of blocks just for stuff. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's probably going to be where the floor sort of is, which actually probably just needs to be that type of block there. Okay, so we'll just bring that out to there. Uh, yeah, and I'll I'll continue that round here as well. So it's one, how many? One, two. Okay, so one, two, three, and then this will come over, and then oh, one, oh, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then that sort of comes back into the wall here. Okay, so this, yeah, that's uh, probably needs to be one of them. Not that it's important. Right, okay, so that's that's that. Now Yeah, there's our thing down there. So I guess Hmm. If that's one, two, then that's only going to lift up there. I really need to, um, it's not deep enough. <laughs> it's not deep enough. I can't believe it is not deep enough. Okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, because it really needs to be two pistons. All right, so if I got rid of uh, you with that and then well the pistons can push just a single one I was thinking that I could get away with two on each side but maybe it's just going to be a single one up the middle hmm tricky 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 okay so that's uh, actually we'll just get these pistons out of the way for now I think I've just left them in because I'll need their parts, of course. Okay, so yeah, it may be that the pistons sort of go further down into there. That would that would actually make sense. Hmm. Okay, well, let's just try and lay some of this out, like so. Yeah. Uh, actually, so in order to come up, it would need to go like 
Oh, the bomber. Mm. So those go out 10 meters, don't they? So they're like three blocks. So I really want two under there. And they would want to be... Oh, this is all just you too hard. Um, give me give me a little while to figure this out, what I'm going to do, and then I'll come back. Because <laughs> I'm just getting nowhere very quickly. Oh, uh, yeah, back soon. All right, sorry about that uh, rough intro, because, yeah, I just really was not prepared to actually <laughs> figure this out. But I think I've got it now. It's uh, taking a little bit of steering and <laughs> some stuff. So let's let's have another go at getting into this. Uh, right, so that's that, that's that. So yeah, I've uh, if I get these, then I'll be able to figure out where stuff goes. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the plan. Right, uh, just change you to that, just because. Right, so yeah, as I was saying, if I put these in, then that will give me some good reference as to where I'm building. That and yeah, and straight away the hole was indeed not deep enough, which is a little bit annoying. Okay, so that's very annoying actually. Oh, it's not deep enough. Okay, we can. make it bigger okay so that's bigger <laughs> right and that's going to be above there so that's good okay so uh, what we want to do is I guess so it makes sort of a little bit of a platform almost like that and yeah that will that will suffice and then Right. Then we're going to go with the same style um, sort of mount as everything else. Of course, this doesn't need to be solid. Oh, that's just got me in the wrong place. Like that. And then like that. Yeah, because this can be hollow, so that's. Fitting. Okay, and like that. So this this is gonna take oh why are you not working? This will take a little bit of uh building, so there will be I think a bit of choppy choppy in today's episode. So oh, let's just get back in there. We'll just try and get this laid out and then you'll figure out what I'm sort of doing. So that's yeah, that's like that. That's like that. Yeah, I did not make this hole deep enough, but then yeah, I didn't really know what I was doing. This this is just one of those builds I guess where I'm just gonna have to wing it and see how things go. So that's Line, and then that comes up to here yeah and then six so that's pretty much when this is up at this level that level there will pretty much be up at the rim 
and then we probably want it a little bit higher again which would be that much yeah okay so that that's that's good it sort of works out okay so yeah this this is the subterranean tower as it were which oh that's gonna take a lot of welding <laughs> it really is all right um yeah you may just need to leave this with me for a bit so and uh yeah we're gonna have to strengthen put the pistons on max strength i don't think it'll be too heavy but uh yeah uh yes this may take some time i shall be back Pokey pokey, welcome back. Uh, not a bad view from up here. And yes, full disclosure, I did this twice. So the first time I did it and yeah, it just wasn't really doing it for me. And then I extended the pistons and frankly they didn't reach. So uh, I did reload and I thought, you know what, I'll get Future Wellington to join me and he can, uh, he can record a bit of a time lapse. Uh, yeah, so that's what I did. I've got a third piston in there, and a lot happier. Uh, it took no time at all the second time around. Anywho, so yeah, it just didn't quite match up, clip up into there, which is a little bit annoying. I'm just wondering... Uh, no, I'm just going to leave that as is. Right, um... Yeah, so let's uh, let's head up here now and yeah, just continue to put some blocks in. So I'm um, thinking like this. And do I do I dare put some of these in as well? Like so, just to add a little bit more detail. That and then actually no, we'll, we'll use uh, we'll use that one. That'll look pretty cool. And we'll, we'll come back to yeah, we'll come back to that in a second. So yeah, this this is quite cool. This tower, I like it. Uh, again, that nice industrial. Uh, monolithic type look yeah so that's uh that's good and right I need to put i think a conveyor junction in there just because oh something just spawned in shoot about which is kind of getting closer hmm Oh, well, best we, uh, <laughs> best we get a riddle on, eh? Um, what do I actually need to make just before superconductors? So, I can't remember, did I make any of those? Um, oh, yeah, I did. Uh, but probably not enough. 
So let's let's make some more. One, two, three. And oh, I'm not getting any closer really, are you? No. Okay, that's good. Not that I was worried. Okay. Uh, right, right. That's uh, right. That's oh, we need a hinge anyway. Like that. And let's go for that color there. Advanced rotor rail gun. And we'll just extend that up a bit. That's good. Yeah. Right, uh, now a hinge. Get rid of you. I think you've done your dash. We're all yeah, we're very definitely connected up. So thank you, batteries. You did well. Let's just tidy this up. That's cool. And let's just quickly change that last two bit. Uh, that's good. So I'll just change here as well. Okay, so that's good. Now we'll put. Uh, we need to grab some parts. So we're going to grab one of them, one of them, one of them again. And then we're going to grab welders. One, two of those. And we'll just fix the oil. So I think I think this will work. So if we put you there. This is kind of to make them, but also to maintain them. I'm thinking. That's all good. And then our guns. Ooh. Okay. Exciting. Just trying to get them in the right way. There we go. So one there and. Is that a port? Is that a port underneath or not? I don't think it is. Okay, so we'll put another one there. This is going to be massive. You just try it. You pesky, pesky... What's my call it? Um, let's now go for... Let's go for it. Oh, we've got parts. Let's go for another one of those, one of those, one of those, and 
I'm not doing more welders. Let's start looking at that. I just wonder whether they stick out the back. No, we'll put them, put them in the front. Right. Uh, I don't actually need to do this, but I just thought I might put that on there for a bit of detail. So if these happen to get hit, they should repair. That's the theory. Okay, so let's just rename these welder railgun. short of power cells oh okay right best we uh, best we get some of them happening hundred for you and hundred for you awesome 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 that'll do the business I of course don't have enough ammo to um, to do anything with it, but uh, ah, that's just a minor detail. We will we will go and find some um, we will go and find some. In fact, when we're done with this, I do want to go for a drive. Okay, so just while that's welding, I'll tell you why. Because I have noticed that when I've been doing stuff in the entity list, because I do stuff in there, then there um there is this outpost which is that one there, Supreme Drillers. Now I actually, I think I have a thing for that. That one there, Supreme Drillers. So it's, uh, yeah, 46 k's away. Does that coincide with what this is telling me? Uh, that one, because that, that's the original. That's my base camp, and that's the one, yeah, 46. So, uh, yes, we will go for a drive over there at some point. And it's not cheating, because I found out through... Um, I already had the GPs for it. But I didn't actually realise that it was over there. So, um, hmm. That's good. I don't think I've been to that one before, so, yeah. Anywho, but that's drillers, so that's, um, that's the important thing. They should sell some magnesium, but that's... That's looking good, so let's put this back in its hole and see how things go. and yeah just below I'm not going to put a lid on this this is not what that's about um, I think I am going to have to put some safety rails around there though that would be wise mm, yeah I'll do that um, but not all right now just, yeah, that's good right uh, need to put a control thingy so I've not Use these control things before. Uh, let's just reverse you. Uh, where did you come from? Cockpit two. Don't remember. I don't know where cockpit two is. I've not noticed that before. Hmm. Oh well. A little bit wobbly, but that's okay. That's fine. So what I was thinking was that uh, maybe, maybe just, uh, oh, here we'll do, here we'll do. So that I was going to put 
put the, um, the doodaki in here. So that would mean that I would have to yep, just add a block there. That's good. And we'll put one up. Uh, tell you what, let's put, put a grill. Let's put a grill up there. A diagonal one just to be, just have some fun. And then we need a and the warfare update. One of hell? No. No, that's not it. In there, it's a different thing. thing isn't it yeah there we go that's that's it so that's that's pretty cool and then the turret thing which is all this stuff for it. Right, that's cool. Uh, how about... Just grab some stuff. That's cool. Okay, right. Um, how do you set up these things? So, turret controller. So, let's call this railgun turret controller. And set up actions. What's what's that? Oh, because I guess it's kind of like a cockpit. Would that be right? Right. Assign rotor azimuth elevation. So, elevation is the hinge. All those hinges on the pipeline and solar array. Gosh. And come on, must be here somewhere. Railgun. There we go. And the rotor railgun. There we go. Start. Okay, so that's cool. It's myth velocity multiplier. What does that mean? Modify maximum velocity. Ah, okay. I will only shoot if angle is less than the deviation. I don't know what that means. Hmm, okay. Uh, or maybe that's so you don't shoot the deck. I'm up above everything, so that should be right. Uh, available tools. So we can put other things on, but this is what we want. Uh, can we select? multiple yes we can select multiple add all of those that's good enable ai so i guess that turns it into just a regular turret i don't think we'll do that i think we'll do manual firing target meteors okay that that's basically making it a regular turret target options weapons propulsion oh, okay that's that's all good okay uh that's fine camera We'll need a camera. There is a camera. Oh, I didn't name the camera. Okay, uh, let's just make some. So, one, two, three, four. Yeah, we should 
Yeah, we've got enough for that. Okay, uh, camera. Uh, ray will go. Okay, so we'll try that again. Okay, uh, how do I control it? Control. Not from here. Oh, that's right, you have to go through a cockpit or something, I think. Okay, let's, uh... Let's find a cockpit, and just... The other thing that I am interested in is... Oh, it hasn't come up. Hmm, that, that purple one, that was, a. Uh, I I actually think there might be a phantom piston, because I don't know where there are any pistons. Hmm. Right, let's go and jump into here. Ooh. A little bit laggy. Oh, are you going to come close? No, you're not going to come close. <laughs> it was worth a go. Alright, um, so turret, railgun turret, there we go. And we should be able to control it. Yes, we can. All right. Ooh, okay. That's cool. That's real cool. That's out of range. I'll need some crosshairs. Um, I'll tell you the other thing I need to do is... Uh, I also need to change the camera surround. But that's... That's real cool. Um... Just let me see if I can jump into spectator cam and go up here. Like so. And go to F9. I'm still in control. Yes, I'm still in control. Haha. <laughs> oh look at that. That's that spins real quick actually. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm happy with that. And does that... I think that mount looks alright. Is it too big? Hmm. I don't know. It might actually be too big. I might have to... Yeah, I might might need to do something with that I'm just that's not sitting well with me uh, let's jump out of this but that's that's pretty successful though um, yeah I just just feel like that's not quite doing it for me now that I've built it Hmm. Yeah. Alright, well, just leave that with me. I actually... Yeah, I think I'll just stick with... Like, um... Let me show you. Try not to... Oh, that's connected by the, um, thing anyway. It is all still connected, that's good. Yeah, the conveyor is definitely connected. So if I went like that, same over here, that's just a control middle mouse button, and that, that changes. So if I went like that, and then went like that,
yeah I think that would be better and probably change that to that yeah all right I'll uh, I'll change that and uh, yeah I might just uh, I'll also finish off welding up yeah I'll put a whole floor down there I think might be the way to go hmm and yeah I'll be back uh, back in a little bit for potentially a while hmm. all right see you when we see you Okay, pokey, welcome back. Uh, once again, it's been a little while. I got a little bit carried away with detailing and stuff, actually. So, uh, yes, let me show you what I've done, and then I'm going to actually pull the pin on today, and I'll tell you why in a second. Uh, yes, so, really, actually, really quite happy with how this has come out. So, let me... So, here, poor old defenceless Aries colony. <gasps> what happens if something nasty comes along? Oh, wait, hang on. <laughs> Behold my laser gun out of the top of a volcano. How cool is that? And uh, yeah, I can't believe how well this actually controls and spins around and pivots. And yeah, I so you can sort of see some of the detailing that I've done. Um, probably need to do a little bit more, but uh, quite happy with that thus far. And uh, yeah, what a cool gun. I'm really quite happy with how that's come out. That's just, yeah. And I will do some other stuff as well. So uh, I'm actually just in creative mode. So we'll use the spectator cam. So yeah, I haven't done a whole lot of detailing in here, but just just a little bit. And yeah, so I'm happier with that for the mount. I think that sort of suits a lot better. I do have a control panel down here. I'm actually down in the Mars Explorer at the moment. Uh, again, I'll tell you why in a second. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's good. Don't think I've sort of done anything. Oh, down here. Nah, I just put some lights in. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm doing anything down here. I was considering putting a ladder down that you could access the control thing when it was stowed, but no, I don't think so. So actually, if if I press that button there, we can see what it looks like stowed. I press some white buttons and let's just go back to that view. Yeah, so that's um that's real cool. So what I'm thinking is that I do want to put some uh some walkways and stuff around. I want to I want to add more stuff in here. I want this to be um, fairly interesting. So yeah, I'll put some more walkways. Actually, just before I talk about that, let's actually have a look at the detailing. So. Yeah, just put a few neon tubes and things on, and these are, I don't know about those ones sticking out the side, those are, I think, um, they are power modules, and those are speed modules. I like the ones on the back, but yeah, I'm just not 100% with the ones on the side. I'll have to have a think about that. Maybe they come on the back, and then two of those go on the side. That might actually be better, but maybe that's my problem. Hmm. Uh, yeah, but got some vents on the back. I don't know when they'll actually work, but uh, yeah, and sort of lights and stuff, so it's quite, quite yellowy. Uh, yeah, so I reckon that'll look quite good at night. Um, now, what I'm thinking is that I'll also put some uh, walkways and stuff around the edge. Um, potentially they could be recessed into the rock a bit, but what I want to do is, you know, this big massive gun is actually fairly defenseless. So I'm thinking uh, some pop-up turrets as well. So whether whether they are actually yeah they'll be on pistons and they'll sort of come up. So that that's that's my intent anyway. Yeah, so that's um that's real cool. Really really happy with how that came out. Uh, yeah, obviously yes, I still need to do some more detailing, which I'll probably do off camera. As, as I did with this because it was just a little bit of trial and error so yes uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to leave it there I am as I say in the Mars Explorer let me just jump out of that for a second uh, yeah so what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to 
that trading post before it gets dark. That's what I want to do. So that's that one in there. So that's uh, uh yeah, so that's over there. It's not too far away. So um yeah, I'm gonna head over there. I'm gonna head there now. I've got some ingots and stuff in here that I can potentially trade. That's the plan. And uh, yeah, that's where I will leave it today. So if I get in position. There we go. So yes, thanks everybody for watching today. I hope you did enjoy today's episode. Uh, I did. I'm quite happy, as I said numerous times, very happy with how the railgun turned out. And uh, yeah, bring on the orcs. I think if um, one strays too close, we might take a bit of a pot shot at it. Not that any of them have really got one two kilometers, but who knows uh yes so hopefully you can join me again next time when we'll uh be we'll start off at that trading post and see how our day goes from there hmm and uh yes until then stay safe out there everybody have a good one